Hello guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make some changes in the code that we did in the last video, okay? So here's the code that we did in the last video. I just deleted some comments, okay? Uh, we need some library because... Okay, I'm going too fast here, okay? Sorry guys. Uh, okay, we need to make some API for our project. Some APIs actually. But first, we need to talk a little bit about APIs, okay? So APIs are basically services that you make for providing information and we can connect devices through the internet via or via HTTP, which is awesome, so we can uh, I already talked. I already talked here about scaling, okay, or about scalability, which allows us to make bigger projects, okay. So in today's video, I'm gonna show how to make some API which search on the internet and return some response, okay. So let's do this. Uh, let me see. Okay, we need to open this as administrator, as I show you guys in the last video, okay. And the name of the library that we are going to use today, or we are going to install today, is Google, okay? So, I think you get it there, what this library does, okay? So, this library name is Google, uh, which is a very catchy name, okay? So, let's wait until this is going to, okay, let's, I'm just gonna wait because I want you to see Okay, I already have this installed on my computer. Sorry, guys. Well, so, but it's, this is the idea, okay? You can see right here what I did. Uh, let's add this capability, okay? Uh, let's add, uh, this is uh, some road, road, okay? Let's add another road, okay? Uh, let's think about some name, which is is easy is to remember, is to remember. And uh, I think a good name is search. Okay, search is a good name for making some API which makes search on the internet. Internet. Okay. So this is the base URL. Okay. But we need to get the query. Okay. We need to get the query, and we pass this between these two signs. Okay. Uh, minus uh, less than and greater than I guess okay let's define some method right here I'm gonna call do search okay do search and as an argument we pass this query uh, variable okay so this is our search method okay but we need to talk about encoding uh, strings and browsers, okay? Browsers uh, usually uh, re replace spaces with uh, percent uh, twenty, okay? I'm gonna, sh I'm just gonna show you how browsers usually work, okay? I'm gonna type uh, Python test okay uh okay probably this is not the right okay this okay this is not the the what i'm ex expecting okay because opera which is the this browser that i'm using works differently but the idea is uh, uh if you type something like a uh, python test okay the encoding method or the encoding function of the browser is going to return this thing, okay? <laughs> Which, as you can see, we have this percent twenty sign replacing the empty, uh, this empty or this space, okay? So let's make, uh, let's apply this function to get uh, the original URL or the original query, okay? Let's assign query which is going to be equal query dot replace do, do you remember the sign which is percent 20 
by space okay so this is pretty much all that we can all that we need to do okay uh, and we need to return a list of objects okay these objects are going to be a JSON okay I'm gonna call I'm gonna declare or create some list empty list which is going to be results okay this is the name uh, so we need to import something because we are going to work with JSON we need to call this uh, J JSON if uh, library which is under a flask because we are going to work with JSON okay and we need to import the library from from Google okay which uh, which uh, we does or we do this way okay from Google import search search is a function okay so let's call this function is, is it an iterator okay so it returns the iterator or IRU okay which uh, is kind of hard to explain but what you can do basically is to iterate through the search method okay we need to pass the query and some stop ver uh, argument which is going to be the number of max results okay I'm just gonna uh, stop in the fifth uh, result okay let's call results which are which is our list of results dot append okay and right here we're going to add um, something which is the JSON, which is the JSON encoding. Okay, we, know, we need to you need to know a little bit about JSON to follow this tutorial, but it is very similar to dictionaries. If you already know dictionaries, it is basically dictionaries. Okay, so rl rl, which is the string and the variable. Okay. And we are going to return JSON, JSON if I or JSON if results. Okay, this is going to encode this as a JSON. Okay, so we can uh, we can see uh, on the browser. Let's save it. Let's save this. Okay. Okay. I think that is pretty much. Uh, let me see if I'm not forgetting anything. Okay. Okay. I get. I get it. I. I guess it is done okay uh, let's uh, wait until this starts oh this uh, IRO ID is quite slow to run code okay so if you want to run faster I recommend that you use to run that you run or execute the Python directly okay the Python file directly let's uh, uh, paste this URL which is our base URL and now we have some API which makes some search okay let's type search which is our API and after uh, that we can uh, now type some search okay I'm just gonna search for my channel Codigo logo and Python. I'm, I'm just gonna search for this. Okay, let's press enter. It's gonna take a while, obviously, because obviously because it needs to download uh, the string of Google, and probably this is using some kind of uh, as I how do I say that slip method because because. It, it needs to use Google and it doesn't need to it doesn't want to overload the Google request okay so if, if by that Google doesn't block the, my IP address okay okay <laughs> I'm quite I'm quite confused right now because I'm I'm struggling to speak guys okay so this is the result that we get so as you can see we have this JSON file which is the result with this very good 
Okay, it is very good. I'm just gonna open up some of this URLs. Let's see, this is my channel URL. I think this is some video. Okay. Let's just open. Uh, let me see. Uh, this is one of my videos. Uh, okay, Python for beginners. It, this this relation translation. Okay, Python for beginners. Hello world for from the CMD or terminal. Oh, lá pessoal. Okay, this is my voice in Portuguese. <laughs> it is it's not different at all. Olá, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo do canal. E hoje sim vamos começar com o nosso é, curso de Python para iniciantes, beleza? Ok, so that was the video, guys. I hope you like it. We are going to make some changes in this code, and uh, we need to talk a lot about a lot of stuff that uh, we need to do in order to achieve some kind of API framework in which we can make our project more inter interesting. Okay, so there was the video. I hope you like it, and see you in the next videos. Okay.